Thinking is difficult, that's why most people judge. We are not what happened to us, we are what we wish to become. Until you make the unconscious conscious, it will direct your life and you will call it fate. Knowing your own darkness is the best method for dealing with the darknesses of other people. One does not become enlightened by imagining figures of light, but by making the darkness conscious. The most terrifying thing is to accept oneself completely. Your visions will become clear only when you can look into your own heart. Who looks outside, dreams, who looks inside, awakes. The world will ask you who you are, and if you don't know, the world will tell you. Do not compare, do not measure. No other way is like yours. All other ways deceive and tempt you. You must fulfill the way that is in you. The difference between a good life and a bad life is how well you walk through the fire. To ask the right question is already half the solution of a problem. Who looks outside, dreams, who looks inside, awakes. Life really does begin at 40. Up until then, you are just doing research. Wisdom accepts that all things have two sides. We don't so much solve our problems as we outgrow them. We add capacities and experiences that eventually make us bigger than the problems. Be grateful for your difficulties and challenges, for they hold blessings. In fact, man needs difficulties, they are necessary for health personal growth, individuation, and self-actualization. Everything that irritates us about others can lead us to an understanding of ourselves. Trust that which gives you meaning and accept it as your guide. Everyone you meet knows something you don't know but need to know. Learn from them. The foundation of all mental illness is the unwillingness to experience legitimate suffering. As far as we can discern, the sole purpose of human existence is to kindle a light of meaning in the darkness of mere being. Your vision will become clear only when you look into your heart, who looks outside, dreams, who looks inside, awakens. The dream is the small hidden door in the deepest and most intimate sanctum of the soul, which opens to that primeval cosmic night that was so long before there was conscious ego and will be so far beyond what a conscious ego could ever reach. Where love rules, there is no will to power, and where power predominates, their love is lacking. The one is the shadow of the other. You are what you do, not what you say you'll do. I cannot prove to you that God exists, but my work has proved empirically that the pattern of God exists in every man and that this pattern in the individual has at its disposal the greatest transforming energies of which life is capable. Find this pattern in your own individual self and life is transformed. To be normal is the ultimate aim of the unsuccessful. We cannot change anything until we accept it. Condemnation does not liberate, it oppresses. The privilege of a lifetime is to become who you truly are. We meet ourselves time and again in a thousand disguises on the path of life. In order to know the light, we must first experience the darkness. We don't get wounded alone and we don't heal alone. If a man knows more than others, he becomes lonely. God enters through the wound. The most dangerous things in the world are immense accumulations of human beings who are manipulated by only a few heads. We don't really heal anything, we simply let it go. 
Dawn is born at midnight. Intuition is one of the four basic psychological functions along with thinking, feeling, and sensing. Solitude is for me a fount of healing which makes my life worth living. Talking is often a torment for me, and I need many days of silence to recover from the futility of words. In every adult there lurks a child, an eternal child, something that is always becoming, is never completed, and calls for unceasing care, attention, and education. That is the part of the personality which wants to develop and become whole. Normality is a fine ideal for those who have no imagination. Embrace your grief, for there, your soul will grow. Every human life contains a potential, if that potential is not fulfilled, then that life was wasted. Life calls not for perfection, but for completeness. One finds one's destiny on the path one takes to avoid it. The brighter the light, the darker the shadow. The meeting of two personalities is like the contact of two chemical substances, if there is any reaction, both are transformed. Invited or not, God is present. Nothing is possible without love, for love puts one in a mood to risk everything. Conflict exists strictly as an opportunity to raise our consciousness. Error is just as important a condition of life's progress as truth. People will do anything, no matter how absurd, in order to avoid facing their own souls. They will practice Indian yoga and all its exercises, observe a strict regimen of diet, learn the literature of the whole world, all because they cannot get on with themselves and have not the slightest faith that anything useful could ever come out of their own souls. You always become the thing you fight the most. The most terrifying thing is to accept oneself completely. We discover ourselves through others. Knowing your own darkness is the best method for dealing with the darkness of other people. Even a happy life cannot be without a measure of darkness, and the word happy would lose its meaning if it were not balanced by sadness. It is far better take things as they come along with patience and equanimity. When goals go, meaning goes. When meaning goes, purpose goes. When purpose goes, life goes dead on our hands. Your vision will become clear only when you can look into your own heart. Who looks outside, dreams, who looks inside, awakes. One is always in the dark about one's own personality. One needs others to get to know oneself. You must go in quest of yourself, and you will find yourself again only in the simple and forgotten things. Loneliness does not come from having no people about one, but from being unable to communicate the things that seem important to oneself, or from holding certain views which others find inadmissible. The whole point of Jesus' life was not that we should become exactly like him, but that we should become ourselves in the same way he became himself. Jesus was not the great exception but the great example. The first half of life is devoted to forming a healthy ego, the second half is going inward and letting go of it. Where love stops, power begins, and violence, and terror. Real liberation comes not from glossing over or repressing painful states of feeling, but only from experiencing them to the full. If our religion is based on salvation, our chief emotions will be fear and trembling. If our religion is based on wonder, our chief emotion will be gratitude. In each of us is another whom we do not know. 
He speaks to us in dreams and tells us how differently he sees us from the way we see ourselves. The shoe that fits one person pinches another, there is no recipe for living that suits all cases. The ability to ask questions is the greatest resource in learning the truth. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.